Good morning. Why do I always do that with my arm? Every time I'm like, feels right. <laughs> Good morning. It's a beautiful day to be alive. I just got to the gym with Sydney. Oh, it's gonna be a good day. It's a beautiful day to be alive. I've had this freaking jump rope for over a year and it just broke on me. After a unsuccessful warm up, I am starting off with a super set, two exercises combined back to back, no resting in between. So I am doing a bent over overhand row. I like using the preloaded barbells because they're just easy. You just pick it up and, and go. You don't have to load or unload weights. And then we are going to move into an underhand row. So eight overhand, eight underhand. And it, every time here, you wanna focus on pulling the barbell up to your belly button. Overhand and underhand rows are different variations that are going to target your lats and your mid back. So eight each way, and then we're going to repeat this superset three times. Make sure that you keep your core nice and tight. Your feet are in a position that is sturdy. You're not gonna be wobbling back and forth. Pull nice and tight, squeeze your muscles at the top, release all the way back down, and then repeat the exercise. Forever and ever and always will bet over dumbbell rows be one of my favorite exercises for targeting the lats. So if you're skipping out on your dumbbell rows, give it a try with me today. Dumbbell rows are a lot of biceps as well, so we're gonna superset it with biceps to help just burn out the biceps. All right, what I see a lot of people neglect to do on dumbbell rows is get their body in a position that is going to allow them to pull the weight and remain in a correct form. So you can see here that I like to have one knee on a bench and my other knee pretty wide. I see a lot of people bring their foot in closer. I find I have a much sturdier stance when my feet is pressed a little bit more outwards. So you're going to row the dumbbell all the way up. This is a lot of lat work. You're going to keep your elbow close to your side. I like to pull the dumbbell up to my body and then release it all the way back down. We are super setting this with a bicep curl with a plate. So like I said, you will see a lot of bicep action on the rows. So I like to top it off with a bicep curl here. Your thumbs go up and point towards the ceiling at the top of the curl. Moving into our third superset, I am now moving into the cable machines. I am using the rope attachment and I am pulling it up to about belly button, chest height. So I'm going into another variation of rows. Here, my elbows are going to stay close to my side. So this is going to hit a lot of that mid back again. It gets a little toasty upstairs in my gym, so I uh, popped my long sleeve off. But now you can see which muscles are working. So we are super setting this with another row, but this time you can see my elbows are higher, which is going to target the upper back. I am doing 10 reps of each exercise, repeating the super set three times. Wow, <laughs> Allie Gay shows up at the gym. Oh, and where did I And Jim Shark, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Allie Gay is a model and makes me look like a minuscule human. Okay, I'm 5'6". She's just a model. Okay, last super set. We are doing a lat pull down. Nothing beats it. This is a staple exercise that needs to be in your back routine. Make sure you keep good posture here. This is one of those exercises I really have to slow down and really focus on using just my lat muscles. Finishing off the super set with a rear delt movement. I use the same exact machine. I place my foot up for a little bit of sturdiness and I'm pulling backwards to really target the rear delts. So really focus on the muscle that's being worked. Back home with my sweet angel that loves me so much. I wanted to show you some of my Black Friday stuff. Quick little haul. I thought that could be fun because I don't ever show you like real clothes a lot. So I figured 
wait miss what better time you know what I mean so I finished off that workout today with an ab circuit but I posted that on my Instagram because vlogging it plus Instagram was just it was too much so it's on my Instagram if you want to check that out. For some reason, I'm very picky about sweaters. I don't like how a lot of them look on me. One place I like to go for very nice feeling sweaters is Topshop. So I got this cream one. And this is the bottom of it. It's all jaggy. And then it has the wide sleeve. So it's like a little bit cropped with a little bit of a jag and some cute sleeves. I really never thought I'd be into the bell sleeves. And here I am with the bell sleeves. I have several sweaters with bell sleeves. It's embarrassing. Okay. I do agree that Topshop is very overpriced. This sweater was $65, you know? That's ridiculous. But I will say, for the quality and the feel, it just feels so freaking nice. This is a black sweater. I actually don't have any black sweaters. Here's the wide sleeves with the little cut in it. Ooh, cute! I like the neck, and it's just a long guy. I'm excited about that one. And then, these jeans were on super, super sale. I talked about the Jamie jeans from Topshop before. They're very nice jeans. These guys are a little bit of a thicker denim, still super stretchy, but a little bit thicker than the Joni jeans. And the Joni jeans can be sometimes a little bit too revealing. The jeans are just so paper thin, which yeah, makes your bum look super good. But if I'm not feeling my best, you know, I'm not feeling those. So it's a plain blue wash with some knee holes. Oddly enough, I don't have a lot of normal blue wash jeans. So I was like, heck yeah. Okay, I picked up some stuff from ASOS. I love shopping on ASOS because the return system at ASOS is lovely. You just send it back. It's free. I love that ASOS carries a ton of brands like Adidas. It's a crop sweatshirt with a crew neck and then that's the back. Oh golly, this is the cutest thing I got. And then once again, the sleeves are just a smidgen wider. I'm super, super, super happy with this purchase. Like this is cute. This is my favorite purchase of the whole haul. Ooh, I got this velvet dress, which I'm not the biggest velvet fan, you know? <laughs> It's okay. So this is the neck. It's a v-neck and then it has your little choker, which I feel like is a little bit out of style. But let me tell you what sold me on this dress. It has the longer sleeves and then the bottom has super freaking cute lace. And it's a longer dress, but a little bit tighter. Okay, last thing I got from ASOS. Yes. I got another crop sweater. This is super bell sleeve and it's super crop. So it comes right underneath the, you pair that with your high-waisted jeans or high-waisted skirt and some thigh-high boots. Oh, cute. If you guys have been following me for maybe over a year now, I love Fabletics clothing. I'm iffy when it comes to their workout clothes. I found a lot of Fabletics tops that I like, but zero leggings that I love, but winter comes around and their freaking winter clothes are so stinking cute this is the zay lee pullover oh my heck it's so cute it has like the super turtley neck you know the nice turtle neck and then it's super 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 long it goes all the way past the butt so it's perfect during the winter just to pair with some leggings now this is actually the third color that i have in this because i first released it in pink then they released it in dark charcoal and then this month they released it in oatmeal <sighs> hello to so the cute turtleneck oh it has the armholes which i'm so impressed so impressed with the material i freaking love this and then it's super long covers the whole booty and all that <laughs> Isn't that cute? This is just one of those effortless pieces you can just throw on. So what I did for today's giveaway was I bought five more of these. Because I love them and I want you guys to enjoy them as well. Because they're so cute. They're my favorite thing right now. Oh! So I purchased a small, medium, large, extra large, and a double XL. So there's going to be five winners in today's video. And then each one of you guys will win one of these. And I'll ship it to you with a cute Christmas card. Here are the rules. I know. The rules are going to shock you because they're shocking and appalling rules, okay? Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. And lastly, leave a comment below on how I can reach you, whether that's an email, an Instagram handle, a Twitter. I need to be able to slide into your DMs. And please be sure to let me know which size of the cute pullover would you like. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know how you're enjoying week of workouts with Whitney. Let me know if you're working out with me. I love you guys so much. And until tomorrow... I'll see you tomorrow. This is what Navy does. He just lays on all of my stuff. Looking like a cutie patootie. I can't even get mad at him. Look at that face.